So, have you got a sea do jet ski or a jet boat like this one that intermittently keeps cutting out? Uh, this one is with the Rotex engine, 110 horsepower. The ECU box is uh, behind the bulkhead here. I've taken the cover off and I've actually uh, half fitted, well, mostly fitted, a sneaky little electronic circuit that will give details all in a minute that'll stop the uh, engine intermittently cutting out, the ECU cutting out. Um, so the symptoms are you're going along quite happily and um, then all of a sudden just the engine will cut. Uh, if you go through the starting sequence again, put it in neutral, throttle back, put your lanyard off and on, it starts again straight away. But it can keep doing that every couple of minutes or it can go for half an hour then it cuts out. Very annoying, very difficult to find out what the problem is. Um, I finally diagnosed the problem and fitted an electronic circuit to completely overcome it. Uh, the problem was the signal from the uh, lanyard uh, sensor, this uh, DES digitally encoded security system, pain in the ass really. And uh, the problem was that uh, getting glitchy signals from here. And I've heard if people even change the, uh, the magnetic uh, switch, whatever it is it's in here, still have the same problem. Uh, it seems to be a weird problem whereby you get very intermittent, very quick disconnections of this uh, switch. It never permanently disconnects and never for more than a little glitch, but it's enough to reset the uh, ECU and uh, make it think that the lanyard has come disconnected and then you have to go through the starting sequence again. And I managed to finally diagnose it by putting, using the signal from here to power a relay and then the relay goes on to the ECU. You can actually see the relay glitching off and on. And so I put a, a little electronic circuit in between here and the ECU to uh, slow down the signal, filter it out. So tiny little glitches from here were removed and the engine then no longer stalls and cuts out. Okay, uh, details are... Okay, this is a little sketch of the uh, circuit I made that you need to build up just from some uh, quite common components. This little thing here is a uh, PMP transistor. This is an electrolytic capacitor, it needs to be value 2200 microfarads. This is a variable resistor of value 22 kilograms. I only use that because it was what I had handy in my scrap drawer. Um, two 10k resistors in series with the base of the transistor connected to the midpoint would do equally as well. Uh, if you do use a variable resistor, don't have the wiper of the variable resistor, the centre part, um, down connected directly to the input of the circuit because that will put too much current through the transistor. So keep the wiper at about the midway position or as I say, just use two uh, resistors. The value of that is not too critical and I used a variable resistor just so I could change the timing of the uh, circuit slightly. Then the collector of the transistor goes to the relay. This is the relay here. It has a diode across the coil to stop the back EMF voltage blowing up the transistor. It's quite essential. Uh, these are the contacts. One goes down to ground. This is ground here. This is the 12 volt supply over here. And this is the output that goes into the ECU board uh, the position where you cut the wire. So this is your input, comes from the lanyard switch, this is the output that goes to where the switch did go to on the ECU board. Uh, the type of transistor you use, not particularly critical. Any fairly low power PMP transistor would be fine. And the relay uh, needs to be some fairly small capacity 12 volt relay. And uh, so hopefully you can understand those uh, electronic symbols and build your own circuit up to fix the problem. So this is the little circuit in place, not particularly pretty and some right gash bits of tape on it but uh, it does work and uh, this is where you need to connect it you need to break this wire, this black wire that goes into this position just about see it here I left the bare connections open before I tape them up this black I think it's black, maybe it's striped, let's just check. Oh no, here we go. Black and mm, sort of greeny striped wire. 
and yeah, it goes into uh, the board near to this relay. You need to cut it. This is the signal uh, from the lanyard switch, and this goes into the input of the circuit into the resistor, and this side connects to the output relay of the circuit. Then you just need to get uh, power and ground or power. You can take off from this red wire here which is, uh, you can test it with the meter, but that's 12 volts. And this other black wire here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, right next to the black and green stripy wire that you've cut, there is a, a black wire that is the earth connection. Uh, in other words, zero volts that you can use to power our circuit. Just a couple of bits of wires, you don't need to cut it of course, you just need to splice into it take it up as the uh, zero volt feed into our circuit and uh, just in the process of taping it all up and strapping it down to make sure it's secure and doesn't rattle around and, and come loose but um, basically that delaying circuit which takes out any glitches on the lanyard switch is enough to stop your CDU motor from intermittently cutting out uh, it certainly fixed it for me. The problem drove me mad for uh, about a year or so before I managed to find out what it was. And the way I found out was uh, to put a relay in the circuit and then you could, uh, at the moment the engine stalled, you could actually see, they, see the relay um, open and close again. Like there was a tiny little momentary, momentary glitch from the uh, lanyard switch. Very weird. But just filtering it and slowing down the signal is enough to completely eliminate the problem. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.